I'm not sorry. AOC sells a sweatshirt. No, we're not going. We're not going over sweatshirt gate anymore. I'm sorry. It's just not happening. Men, stock hooking up. Okay, listen. We got some men's guidance, okay? Dude, this channel is so astroturfed. It's so funny. Oh my gosh, she does sound like Ben Shapiro. Wait, she, I forgot how much like Ben Shapiro. She does look like woman Ben Shapiro. It's wild, dude. Dude, I'm telling you. Look how much. Wait, let me pull up a picture of Ben Shapiro. Wait a second. All she needs to do is like tilt her head down. I mean, they look pretty similar. It's almost like they're related. It's crazy. I did a video entitled Ladies Stop Hooking Up a few months ago. After making that video, many angry people said that I had different standards for men and for women. That I thought men could sleep around while women should wait. Here's the deal. Both men and women should stop hooking up. Honestly, her eyes get so dang big. Wait, is that like, is that, please don't tell me this is like a drawn like deviant art picture of her dipping her like classic toes into like a jar of honey or something. What is this? <laughs> I mean, I mean, true. Why does Ben Shapiro's sister look like a Bojack girl? If everyone could just wait until they got married, the world would be a much better place. So men, here's my advice to you. Stop hooking up. In many ways, not hooking up is harder for men, and it's a lot harder to get across to them why it's bad for them. Yeah, that's true. Every single moment of every day, I'm thinking about hooking up. And every day I'm not hooking up, I'm thinking about why I'm not. Just so you know, if there's not a video being posted, it's because I'm I'm busy um plotting to hook up. Uh, cause that's uh that's just what life be. There appear to be only positives and upsides to it because the immediate negative consequences aren't as obvious. But just because you can have sex in a way that seems like it's carefree, doesn't mean that's actually the case. You might think that you'll have street cred if you sleep with a certain number of women. Oh my gosh, street cred. Oh, what is this like a dare PSA from the 90s? Street cred. Hey dude. Hooking up isn't cool. You think you'll get cool street cred. All you'll get is chlamydia. That's a bunch of lies. First of all, sleeping with a certain number of women to prove to your male friends that you can keep up is a useless endeavor. The same guys who care or would be impressed with your number are the same guys who don't deserve your respect in the first place. I mean, this one, it's, I mean, I'll, I'll give it to Abby here. True. Don't worry about the, the amount of bodies, all right? You got hidden, um... You got hidden under your sheets. And the only bodies that you should be worrying about are the people you're bodying in basketball, which are your friends on weekends, especially Saturdays, because Saturdays are for the boys. Oh, my gosh. Unholy Spike with a three dollar. Ben Shapiro only fans window. <laughs> and at the end of the day, it won't make people like you. It will rot your relationships and poison your friendships. Wait, I wait. OK, listen. You can say a lot. You can say a lot of things about how hooking up probably isn't like the best for you, like uh, from a health standpoint or like a spiritual standpoint. But what do you mean rot your relationships? Do you think uh, like the ghost of Cummy's past is going to come and haunt you in your sleep or something? You're going to be like you're going to be like Scrooge or something. The ghost of Cummy's past. They're coming, dude. They're coming. It's going to come and it's going to flow down the hill in a viscous pool and it's going to sit and rot your relationships from the core out all of them your friendships uh your, your relationship with your barber the relationship with the mailman uh the relationship for with the dude who drives the amazon van all of everybody literally everybody in your life they will com be complete they will annex you you'll be uh disposed of like a leper because you decided to hook up with uh, sarah that one night being confident in who you are, personable, fun, and charming will make you cooler and more popular than any number of women that you sleep with would. So this is true. For, listen, okay? This, once again, this is a men's rights feminist stream, okay? I'm, and I'm not going to falter when she speaks the truth. It is true. You shouldn't... The, and this... I'm, I'm not sure if she's going to uh, uh, broaden this out, but this also goes to a lot of dudes base their worth completely on how many, like women they can have like them and not being not being a, a seen as attractive to women is one of like a real is, is is a really big thing that's a really big blow to a lot of um uh men's uh self-esteem which you shouldn't be basing it off of other people's like views of you like that especially when it comes to how many people just want to be in a relationship with you that's not an accurate um depiction of how good or how worthy you are of a uh of a person so, you agree? It doesn't matter how many people you hook up with. It it, uh, it doesn't matter how cool you are. Wait, it does matter how cool you are, okay? Because I'm the coolest kid on the block, and that matters a whole lot, all right? Repping, repping the East till I'm resting in peace, okay? 
Second, a good woman would love to be with a man who saved himself for marriage and for her. She will know that you take sex seriously enough to wait for the right person. There's a male fear that if you're a virgin, it would indicate that you have no appeal or that you're bad at sex. I think lots of people don't care if if their partner's a virgin, except for some, listen, okay, it's Abby. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Vibes. I'm so happy that you finally come to Coom. Um, we finally found your way home like a homing pigeon, only to Coom. What determines how cool you are? Yeah, how many drugs you've taken? That's uh, that's the real question. Every time I'm on a new date, uh, my my uh, the girl always asks me, how many drugs have I taken in the last 72 hours? And uh, if the number isn't low enough, usually they just kind of scoff and get up and leave. They, they scoff, they do a little hair flick, and then they get up and just leave right right there and i'm there um sad and alone drinking my coffee and eating my toast from the from the cafe that we were supposed to meet at completely alone um the the waitress comes over and asks if she's coming back i i like i i look up from my phone and say no she's she's not it's just me and they go oh and then they just kind of leave <laughs> very detailed shark wait chill Wait, I'm gonna, <laughs> wait, wait, it's it's just a it's just a meme. It's a haha funny meme, okay? When you're when you're when you become cool enough, when you saved your virginity for a long enough, you start to be able to shoot lasers out of your eyes. It's true. It's true that that actually happens. Um you all wouldn't know because you all are a disgusting sex havers. Um and you wouldn't really understand. But uh, me off screen, that's I use it. I don't do it on screen because it would burn out the the sensors in the in the camera. I don't want to break the camera just yet, so. But I can do it because virginity is cool. Virginity is cool. What if you hypothetically lie and you say you're a virgin? Curious? That's not good. Don't lie to people about your sexual history, okay? Okay, kids? Don't lie to your partners about your sexual history. Um, you're only you're, you're you're hurting other people and you're not being forthcoming, and that's not cool, and that's pretty cringe. Not gonna lie. Your mental health has been pretty good lately. Hey. Hey, forthcoming. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you gotta be forthcoming before you start coming. Also, men, people like it when you mean. Ah, yes. We all know that people only like men when they're looking to when they're moments away from beating them. Yeah, that's um, that, that's always a great, really big turn on. Uh, works every time with me personally. That's why I was walking around with punch, with uh, boxing gloves uh, when I know I'm going to uh, try and talk up a girl um, in the in like, I, I don't know, like the self checkout line at Walmart or something. Um, anyways, Abby Shapiro. Abby Shapiro. That's not the way it works. A woman won't think that no woman would sleep with you. She will think that you had options and still made the harder choice. Good women want a good man. And if you're confident in your choice to wait until marriage, it will only reflect well on you. Plus, when you get married, now you get to learn how to have sex together. And that's a beautiful opportunity for you wow. both. And hopefully, since you'll be married your yeah. whole lives. Listen, first, I, I, I can imagine first time would be very, very awkward. Like, um... Can I, uh, can, uh, uh, can you can take that off? Um, oh, 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 I guess I'll, I'll take mine off. Wow. Incredible. <laughs> Triple digit body count here. What? You mean zero, zero, zero? Is that what you're talking about? Okay, buddy. If that's how you like, if that's how you like to count, you, <laughs> you expect to get to hundred at some point. <laughs> The relationship. It opens the door to comparisons, jealousies, and other drama, <laughs> especially if one or both of the partners has a history of no strings attached hookups. And even though those feelings can be dealt with, it's easier when they're not there to begin with. You might think there won't be any consequences regarding pregnancy if you sleep with someone because, hey, you're a man. Guess what? You are responsible for the child that you helped to create, even if you're not the one carrying it. And Wait, what is what is happening right now? Wait, so so yeah, I mean, I don't think anybody, I don't think anybody is under the illusion, uh, under the illusion that like uh, a pregnancy cannot happen if you decide to hook up. I mean, you should just be, be safe about it. Um, ever, ever hear about like a thing? It's called safe sex. I'm pretty sure a lot of us, at least some of us, learned about this in freaking like, uh, f freshman year of uh, high school or something. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully you have. I hope that you have because that is that that's important. I I really hope that you did. Uh, if not, we we have way more problems than just this. I'll tell you that much. Way more problems. Getting caught by your BF dad for the first time was very not rad. Wait a second. Unholy Spike. You can't just allude to a story like that and not tell us. Wait a second. Spike. You got to tell us this for... <laughs> you got to tell... Wait, you also got... 
uh, caught by a different girl's brother. He threw up and <laughs> wait, it's happening. What are you doing? Are you doing this in like the girl's hallway or something? You can't even wait to get into her room. Why are you, what are you getting caught by everybody? Are you on there like Ottoman in the living room? What is happening right now? How has this happened to you? Low stealth rating? Apparently, dude. What were, did you did you keep your pants on? Did you have like a whole pocket of change? You're just jingling around like a freaking janitor or something with like that uh like belt buckle full of keys? Yeah, like a scallywag, man. He had like freaking doubloons in his back pocket. But the neighbors can hear him just jingling around like a coin counter. Oh my gosh. That's incredible to me. You had to shake someone's hand after freaking Did you wash your hands? Or did you or did you give him the pussy fingers? Then you like finger blasted this girl and then you like put it in his palm? Oh my gosh. That's true dominance right there. That's real that's real dominance. You did not that's this you people are disgusting. <laughs> What? You didn't even like try and did you like wipe them off on the sheets? Or, oh, you did you try and put it back like you did that and then you like wiped it off on the inside of her thigh or something? You're like, hey, take this back. Would you that is he teleported? <laughs> you people are ridiculous. You people are horrible. You know that, right? You're horrible. Wait, you, you said you can call in and tell the story. Wait a second. I never skip on a golden opportunity for for memes. All right. So you, I, I heard you have a rousing and um riveting story for us. <laughs> oh yeah good times good times uh i was a fresh spry 16 year old bursting with libido and depression and um had a girlfriend she was i met her at summer camp and so she lived kind of far away <clears throat> okay. so she wanted me to go to her homecoming dance with her and living like two and a half hours away that was kind of difficult so we convinced our parents to let us stay the night i had never had sex before we had obviously never had sex with each other before and okay. uh you know we we were made to promise we wouldn't do anything and i did and i took that seriously i was at the time a good christian boy uh, yes. um so i so i was all about that uh no sex till marriage yeah, but then, then, but then the woman obviously <laughs> used her um, uh, 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 psychological powers to overwhelm you, as as women do, or something, right? Yeah, I was uh, I was sleeping on the couch, and she comes down um, while I'm like almost asleep, and you know, starts getting me excited, and then she's like, "Let's go to my room." I'm like, "You know what? Fuck it, <laughs> whatever." I'm 16, and. Uh, I'm slowly edging my way out of religion at this point anyway. So I'm like, I'll, I'll do it. And so we go up to her bed, and we struggle to figure out how to work the condom and all that stupid shit, because, you know, high school sex ed sucks. Yeah. Uh, and, mine, uh, mine was very in-depth, I'll have you know. We, we learned a lot about STDs, and that was it. I think that's you know, basically the, to like fear you, probably. Like, yeah, what, yeah. If you scare would you divulge, like, what state do you live in? If you, if you would like Minnesota, Minnesota. Minnesota. Huh. Okay. And I went to a very high, high quality public high school. Hmm. Uh, and our sex ed was that bad. Damn, anyway, okay. so we're 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 doing the job, and then we hear stomping up the stairs. So we get off to off of each other and just lay down under the covers pretending to sleep. And he comes in and he's this big rotund man with a mustache and and like with the roundest glasses. And he's just glaring through his mustache. He's like, what are you guys doing? And we just sit there quiet. And he's like, We're, I'm going to take you home. I'll meet you downstairs. And so uh, I then get to spend the next two and a half hours riding in the car with this angry, round man. It was good shit. And did then he, uh, did he say anything, or was it just like a quiet, awkward yeah. silence? It was quiet, awkward, angry silence. I somehow managed to finally fall asleep, though. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> maybe. maybe that's a little too Chad to fall asleep while he's pissed at me. But that is true. Then you, she put you to bed, huh? Yeah. Uh, 
That and is, then when uh, when we finally got to my house, he made me bring my mom out so that he, we could complain or they could complain at so me they together. They could file a complaint. <laughs> <laughs> they, they both gave me a very stern talking to, but I was so tired I barely heard it. Yeah. Do you still uh, does does your mom still talk about this now? Is it like a funny thing now or? Uh, yeah. One one time she made fun of me about it. She made fun of me for getting caught. Now I'm 27, so. Okay. Uh, well, now now you get caught, and it's it's not um a angry round uh, uh Yukon man from um uh, yeah. from like old Christmas movies. Now it's just the police, yeah. and they're usually less fun. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good story. I'm I love like sharing that one. Some right, thanks. Dumb teenager shit. That is really, really, that, that's some teenager memes right there. Good times. Oh, yeah. But thanks, bud. I'll see you later. Yeah, later. Yeah, love you, okay? Love you, too. Yeah. What's the weird, weirdest moment with a par partner's parent you've ever had? Uh, weirdest moment? Um, I think weirdest moment probably would be um, I, I went to my... I, I was over at my girlfriend's house and um, she she uh, she didn't spend the night, she, but she spent a lot of time. Also, what's up? Sorry. I did, uh, what's up, Catboy? I hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining us tonight. Um, uh, so she was over at my house for a little while and I took her took her back home. And then I was over at her house the next day and um, she had. Um, she had like. Uh, she had bite marks on her neck. I have no clue how that happened, but you know, they got there. And I remember we were just chilling out on the couch and um, her mom comes over and she's like, Hey, what's that on your neck? What is that? And she was like, Oh, nothing mom. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, it was just, I, I have no clue how, what, what happened. Like, hey mom, how's it going? <laughs> it was, um, it was a definitely, it was definitely, definitely a awkward situation to be a part of. Your story's the worst. Hey, Miko, you want to come on and tell us your story? Apparent, because because Miko, apparently you're uh, you're you're in there. You're abs. You were really really in there. What have you done? Straight out of America, but but yeah, no. Hey, anybody else? You've had the um the pre date meet up with uh her parents or whatever, and you have to like show your dominance, but also that you're caring and also that you're smart and have a future. Um, it, it, if you dare, uh, date their beautiful blonde haired Daisy Duke and daughter. Wait. So you want to take my daughter out on a date? <laughs> so you want to take my daughter out on a date? You want to take my beautiful blonde haired daughter out on a date? So you want to take my beautiful blonde haired Daisy Duke wearing daughter out on a date? <laughs> Tell me why. Graduate from Harvard? Are you a city boy? You a city boy? Let me see your penis. That's right. Yeah, that's uh, this is actually what it's like to date girls in um in Kentucky. I hope you guys know that. That's true. That's true. This is this is a this is a real live action <laughs> live action reenactment of a real scenario of what it's like to go out and to go out and date and try and date a girl uh in Kentucky. It happens every time. It happens every time. Every single time. You might think that you just like sex and you want to do it no matter what. STDs, pregnancy scares, hurting women who actually care about you, treating sex like a compulsion, and losing out on the opportunity to meet the right woman isn't fun. Hooking up is wasting your time. It's like endlessly scrolling on Twitter, swiping on Tinder, or playing video games mindlessly for hours on end. You are titillating yourself for the Wait, search of- what the of heck? Whoa, I, well, what's with this anti-gamer uh, uh, freaking uh, bigotry going on here? Why are you so anti-gamer? What the heck? What the heck? I like playing- can some things not just be fun for fun's sake? This is so weird. Why does everything have to have a... Oh, gosh. I'm sorry about that. Why does everything have to have, like, an ulterior motive? Gamer oppression. 